Hey knitters, it's Abby from Wool and Pine and I'm gonna walk you through our new sea glass cardigan. So for this sweater, we recommend two to six inches of positive ease. So what that means is you wanna take your tape measure, measure around the fullest part of your bust and then pick a size that is two to six inches bigger than that measurement. And by choosing a size within that ease range, you're going to ensure, um, ensure that your uh, the length of your yoke is nice, that it fits nicely in the arms and generally just gives you a good fit everywhere. So the construction for this sweater, it's a top down raglan and it is in the round, but sort of pretend. So hear me out. Basically what you do is you start each round at the beginning of the right side, you knit across to the end and then you cut your yarns and then you slide your stitches back and you start again at the right side and you go around, snip your yarn, slide the stitches back. So that way you're only ever working on the right side and your cardigan will be open throughout the whole time that you're knitting. So there's no need to actually cut a steak, which is really nice for those who are scared of steaking. And it gives you this really beautiful finish inside. Of course, we give uh, more detailed videos um, and instructions in the pattern on how to deal with those ends. Um, but this is what the final result looks like. It's really clean, really nice, and not too bulky at all, considering um, how many ends you have when you're knitting. And then the sleeves are knit as standard, just in the round all the way down. We finish with a really nice thick folded cuff here. And in the pattern, we give you a choice of two different uh, collar finishes. So you can do the shawl collar, which you see here, or you can also do a button band, and we've included instructions for both. What else can I tell you? As always, the length of your cardigan um, is totally up to you. Um, we've done sort of a longer cardigan to hit mid thigh, but if you want to do it shorter, you're welcome to. And same with the sleeves, very easy to customize the length on that as you go. And uh, one other thing I'd like to mention is um, whether you're working with a main color throughout your sweater or whether you're doing all contrast color. So for this one, you'll see our main color obvious, obviously is this green. So we've got it in the collar in the hem, in the cuffs, and also throughout all of the color work. So as you can see, all of the color work has this green running through. So if you're working with um, a main color, we give instructions, of course, in the pattern, um, talking about how to plan out your yarn for that. Um, but of course, you can also choose to work all with a contrast color throughout the body, and it does just change the look of the fabric a little bit, um, depending on like how much color you want and how many yarn scraps you have that you're trying to use up. And as always, this cardigan really benefits from a good block. So as you're working, you can even give it a little bit of a steam to see how it's coming along, but you get your nice drape in the fabric and your nice cozy fit you really get after the blocking. All right, everyone, we can't wait to see your final cardigans and your color choices and uh, it's gonna be great.